Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to use a soil moisture sensor to get a reading on our LCD and also give an indicator on the Raspberry Pi Pico board itself. Well, my name's Andrew and let's go ahead and jump into this. So as we transition to the wiring diagram, our area of interest is going to be on general purpose pin 26. This is going to be an analog pin. Similar to what we did in the previous video, we're going to use the analog signal really cool about this project is it's going to use the exact same wiring as the previous one. So all I really did was just swap out the raindrop sensor into the soil moisture reader. So let's go ahead and look at the code. In this instance, I'm going to name it soil moisture.python or .py. And we're going to use the onboard LED to indicate when a specific soy moisture level is below our indicated value. And in this case, I'm just using 70 as a 70%. The soil moisture sensor I'm using, I don't think it's 100% accurate, but this kind of works for me. Uh, essentially, I'm taking my base. So I dipped my soil moisture in a glass of water to get whatever the maximum reading was, which was 70%. If I were to do 100 minus whatever the reading is, if it's fully submerged. I want it to be 100%. So I used 130 as my baseline. What I'm saying here is, hey, if it's greater than 70, I want to turn off the LED and we're going to refresh this every 30 seconds. If it's less than 70%, I want the LED to indicate to me that, hey, it's blinking. I need to water this. In real life, I might do it at 30% or, or around there. I would wait every maybe 10 minutes to do a reading. And then if I might toggle it every one second or two seconds, just so I could see that, hey, something is going on and I do need to water my plant. All right, guys, I hope this helped you. My name's Andrew. If you have any questions or you want to talk about it, drop it in the comments below and let's have a conversation about it. I'll see you at the next video.